And hello there, guys. What is happening there? My name is Otaku, and today we are continuing our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. This is episode 17 in the series. I have not uploaded an episode in a couple days, so I thought, well, why not? It's time to upload some episodes, because, well, if we don't continue, we will never continue. And I want to finish the Pokemon Yellow. Currently, we are four gym badges into our Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we defeated Lavender Town, and we restored Marowak so back to the heavens themselves. So now, we will continue our journey down into the next city where we will acquire our next gym badge. However, I am taking the long road as I've decided to trade up my Pokemon and I need to get Pidgey up, you know? Gotta get that Pidgey up, but right now, I'm actually more focused on... Uh, yeah, well, actually, that's what I'm focused on. I'm focused on trading up my Pokemon up to higher levels so everybody's a good level. I don't want everybody to be uneven. Once I get up to my 6th gym badge or my 7th gym badge, I want everyone to be at an even level. I don't want to have a team with, like, one Pokemon that's just not all, all the level all the way there. You know, we gotta have people up there, up in the high levels, just in case. But, uh, so far, this Nuzlocke has actually turned out pretty good, although we've had a lot of deaths. A lot of deaths at the beginning. It's been a while since I've had a- Oh, shoot, no! Oh, God, thank you. Okay, I, I almost ex- Okay, okay. Okay, critical hit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Go back into wave. Oops. I was Miss Cluck. It was not watching there. All right. So, um, as I was saying, we had a couple of deaths at the beginning of this Nuzlocke. So far, we haven't had any deaths in a while. I'm actually kind of glad that we haven't had any deaths in a while because that means I can keep my team and trade it up and I can figure out what kind of spread I want on my team. Right now, it looks like Pidgey is going to be my flying Pokemon that's going to help me fly around the area. That's going to destroy grass type Pokemon. I have Fluffy, who is also my fire type, to destroy grass type Pokemon just in case. And ice type Pokemon later on. If you get any ice type Pokemon, we got my life, who's a Diglett, who's supposed to help me against electric types. Which, I actually have Big Mama to counter that because Big Mama's also ground poison. So really, Diglett's not really that useful. I'm thinking about replacing Diglett with someone else. Maybe someone we catch soon in the future. And right now we have more fishermen. We have fishermen. These fishermen are the fishing fool versus Pokemon kit. Wait, so you're calling yourself a fool? Fool? Why would you do that? You just don't do that. So guys, today my question of the day is... Simple question. What's your favorite candy? Yo! I got me my Skittles. Give me a bag of Skittles, and man, you won my, you won me. You won me over. Give me a bag of Skittles, and you win me over. It's simple. What's your fairy candy down there, guys? Give me a comment. Tell me what your fairy candy is. Give me those. Maybe you like the Mamma Mams, or that. Maybe you're that Butterfinger kind of guy. I don't know. I don't, I don't really eat chocolates that much. So, you know, I actually used to like to hate chocolate. I wouldn't even eat chocolate a long time ago. I just despised it for some reason, but now, like, I'm okay with it, I'm okay, I can eat it now, I can, like, I can eat, I don't know, Reese's Scouts, Butterfingers, all that stuff. I still can't eat Hershey's bars that well, though. Like, I still kind of, uh, just a little bit, but here and there, but not really as much as I used to. Polyway, 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 there's just some candy out there I can't eat, mainly chocolate, like I said. So, here we go, we got Polyway coming in with the Wave, Wave, what are you doing? Wave is taking all this damage. I feel bad that I have to do a switch tactic to train up my Pokemon. I'm actually debating whether I should just like, like, try to skip as many trainers as possible and then just do a huge training montage. Like, I'm thinking about doing a, a huge training montage next episode where I just try to beat all the trainers that I have in battle. Because there's a bunch of trainers in Lavender that I have in battle. There's a bunch of trainers in the route to Saladon. There's the cycling road, which we're not going to cover. We're just going to go this way instead, and I think I might just battle all those off as a montage video where I train everyone up. I mean, that'd be a great way to train everyone up. Plus, I can try to train something else if I want to train something else. 216 wave. Goldeen. We gotta get that bird up. We gotta get bird up with all that XP. Goldeen's gonna be good. Bird, what are you doing to me? The bird, bird, don't do attack. I was gonna attack again. You see, this is what happens. I try not to attack, but it, it just slips away from here time to time. So, uh, Tail Whip's going in there. I'm gonna go for another Thunder Shock here. All right, we're doing good. Like, I'm thinking about just staying in here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to actually do what I said. I'm gonna try to skip as many trainers as possible. Then at the very end, any trainers that we have left over, I'm gonna do a huge montage in the next episode, which for the next episode will pretty much be me trying to grind up as much as possible. Like, there's gonna be so much grinding in the next episode. I may actually have to make the grinding thing like four minutes long. It might have to be sped up at like 4,000 or something. Usually I've sped it up up to like 2,000 or 2,500, I think was my max. Bird is evolving. Oh, bear a birdie. We got Pidgey Oto up in this here. All right, let's see. 
Pidgeotto. All right, so now we got a Pidgeotto, so that's good. That's actually really nice. We got a Pidgeotto, so we're rocking that Pidgeotto. Now we need that Pidgeot, and then we're good. I think Pidgeot evolves at level 36, so we need to get that later on. All right, so here's the magical sword. Like, a sleepy Pokemon blocks the way. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, wait, I think you have to actually go into your bag and use the item. Oh, that's kind of annoying. All right, so let's see. Wait, do I not? Pokey flu here for this. Play the Pokey flu. Play that sweet melody tunes. Speaking of tunes, Sebi has asked me to grab so many tunes for his stream and my stream, and well, actually I've been enjoying grabbing all this music, all this free downloadable music from copyright artists. By the way guys, if you want to use music for your own streams or YouTube videos, I would actually recommend no copyright sounds. They are great, they're free. All you have to do is just like, link their YouTube video for whatever song you're using. Uh, that is a big Snorlax, and to be honest, I don't think we want- I don't actually want to catch a Snorlax. Like, like, maybe I would catch a Snorlax, but I don't want to fight against Snorlax. Like, I feel like this is going to be just too difficult to actually fight, so I'm just going to run away. Bye-bye, Snorlax. I don't love you. Get out of here. Get out of here, Snorlax. If we really want the Snorlax, we'll get the other one over there. All right. All right, so we're good. We're good. We're the other one on the other side. Uh, can I just dodge? Ah, oh, shoot. I can't dodge that traitor. Dang it. I hate going this way. Electricity is my specialty. Let me show you my grinding speed. So, he's gonna have Magneton more than likely. I'm expecting Voltorb. Voltorb, alright, so we have Volt. Oh, no Electroid, good. Actually, that would've been bad. Okay, let's go into Big Mama, because like I said, Big Mama can take care of any kind of Electric types. Or Big Mama should be able to take any kind of Electric types. Big Mama can also take a Self-Destruct and that Explosion quite well. She has uh, proven in previous episodes, so let's go for a... Oh, God, here comes the Self-Destruct. Here we go! Tank it on, Big Mama! As long as it ain't a critical, I'm pretty sure Big Mama can take it. Yeah, mm hmm Like, not even a critical could have KO'd me there. Alright, let's see. Here comes Electroid. So I am actually gonna stay in, and I'm gonna heal, because I don't want to switch out into the possibility of getting crit KO'd, because I think a crit explosion from an Electroid could actually KO me, and I don't want that to happen. So here comes Self-Destruct. I'm expecting a lot of damage. Please, no critical. Oh. That wasn't even that much. All right. Uh, well, I was worried for nothing. Defeated Rocker. Unplugged. Unsubscribed. Unliked. F unadded from Facebook. See ya, Sunny. All right, let's go to the next area. Uh, all right, we're still going. I don't wanna. Do not turn. Ah, oh, dang it. So many trainers in this. Have you found a Moonstone? Yes, my Sunny. I have found a Moonstone. I actually have to another extra Moonstone, which I'm gonna use for Needle King. If we have to. If I want to add Needle King to my party. I'm thinking about adding Needle King to my party. It'd be nice. Boyd, you, you, you need a... You don't need a Moonstone to evolve. Need to run into Need Reno. Right, let's go into Fish. Fish, you are the strongest Pokemon out there. You have Gyarados. Poison Sting. Oh, God, Poison Sting. Please don't do... Okay, good. Thank you. Let's go for an Ice Beam. That should pretty much one shot. Actually, it's Poison type, so... You shot it? Double Kick. That ain't gonna do anything to me. I'm a Flying type. 2 HP. Wow. That is little damage. That does nothing to us. All right. Let's go for an ice beam. You're going to go down right now on the other end. You're going to love it. You're going to like it. You're going to take it in all at once. All right. Let's see what else you got. You got a needle. Okay. So there you go. There's your needle. You know, which you want to evolve into a needle king. Which needle king is a good Pokemon. Especially Fissure. That thing with Fissure is scary. Or not Fissure. Horn Drill. Horn. Oh, yeah. We got the freeze on that needle. You know, like, like needle king is scary as heck with Horn Drill. Horn Drill, anything Horn Drill, anything Fissure, we died actually to a Fissure earlier on in this playthrough. But, oh god, you Taku defeated Junior Trainer! Now, Taku got 580 Poke Dollars after beating up a poor Ennis or so. Alright, I think if we go this way, it should be fine. Okay, good. So, uh, uh. Dang it. So many trainers. Alright. My bird Pokemon want to scrap. Your bird Pokemon are gonna become scrap in a second. Oh! Nah. Alright, Bird Keeper wants to fight. Has a Pidgey out there. That's a high level Pidgey. I wonder if I can take this on. I think I can take. I feel like. No, God, no. Maybe not. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, no, no, I like. like that's not a lot of damage. Quick attack might not. Yeah, I feel like Bird can take this on. I actually feel like Bird can take this on. A critical hit, though, might kill me. No, critical wouldn't kill me. Critical would land me at like 5 HP, but it would not kill me. Let's see, I get a critical. I'm faster than Quick Attack. How much damage is Quick Attack? Yeah, that could kill me. Quick Attack, Critical could kill me. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up here. Let's heal up this. 
Pidgeotto. I want to get as much XP on all my Pokemon as possible, but I don't want to lose anybody either. Because losing people sucks a lot. Alright, so let's go for Gus. Oh god, here. Oh, oh, oh! Is that affected? Is it because I'm faster than you? No, I'm not faster than you. You're faster than me. Alright, let's go for a quick attack. Let's see how much damage that does. The stab quick attack should be good. And you're gone. Level 19 bird. We're good to go. Okay. So Pidgeotto coming in here. Now I'm going to switch out here for sure because I don't want to stay in with, against Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto could kill me. And I don't want to get killed by Pidgeotto. So here comes Magneton, my one and only true hope. And it's not affected because I'm a higher level. And one thunder shock should actually send you down. Bye bye Pidgeotto, didn't say I loved you, but I love my Pidgeotto. I don't love other, other people's Pidgeottos, other people's Pidgeottos suck. Okay, let's go. Continue to the next area. Oh! Does he actually, like, turn around? I could have waited for him to turn around. That sucks. Okay, so I didn't know he could spin it. Junior Trainer would like to fight you. Pidgey. That's a Pidgey. Alright, so... Probably a lot of... Probably just a bunch of Pidgeys. That's all this team probably has. You know, we should probably just stay in with Magneton and just KO everything. Like I said, we should just rush to the next city and then we just do a huge training montage. Because I don't wanna go to the, I don't wanna do the training montage until we get to the next city at the very least. Once we get to the next city, then I'll take the time to actually work on everything. So yeah, we'll just KO everything with Magneton. Magneton can do a lot of damage and Meowth is actually scary and I wanna take that down. I don't wanna take a slow. Oh god, no. Okay. Screech fail, that's good. Bye bye, Meowth. Yeah, no, Meowth is scary. Persian and Meowth are scared with their critical hits, like I said earlier in this guide, or in this, um, this Nuzlocke. Ducktrio is also pretty scary if you fight against Ducktrio, because Ducktrio has very high speed. Electroid is kind of scary, and then anything with Razor Leaf is scary, because Razor Leaf has high critical ratio. With the 1 in 4 chance of being a critical, anything with a high critical ratio already just has, like, it's like 2 out of 4 chance to be critical. I think it might be a 3 out of 4 chance to be critical. Something like that. It's like a really high chance to be critical. And I don't want to take critical damages the entire time. I mean, I'm, my Pokemon are really high level now, so it doesn't really matter as much as it should. But either way, like I said, Meowth, I'm gonna sh get sh one shot at here. Oh god, I missed. Oh god, it failed. How'd I miss? Did I get sand attacked? I assumed I got sand attacked. Alright, Growl ain't gonna do anything to me. I don't think this Meowth has any attack. It might have payday though. Payday is a good move. It gives me money. That's what I want. I need all that money so I can spend it on more hyper potions. And spend it at the casino. I need to spend that money at the casino. Alright. So we're going into the next round. Uh, don't have to fight them. But can I just like go around? Okay. So I can just like go around you. This maze. I want to try to avoid as many trainers as possible. I wanna find as many tree. Okay, so we're doing good. Um, can we just know? Oh, yeah, actually, is there an item here? I feel like there's an. I feel like there's an item here. I, I honestly feel like there's no, there's an item here. All right, so let's just. I guess this is the fastest way to get around here. I always go with the bird Pokemon. Bird, 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 bird is the word. You know what's up, my homie dog. Bird keeper. So many birds. All these birds. Bangtan's just gaining all them levels today. Yeah, bird's gonna be level twenty by the end of this. All right. So there we go. Wave, get out there. Do what you do best. Then the shock little birds until they burn into toast and mate. Oh god, quick attack's annoying. Hey, quick attack is definitely annoying. Alright. So there goes Pidgey. I'm probably gonna have to use the super potion this turn because I don't wanna get a critical quick attack by like a Pidgeotto or something. That would probably kill me. And uh, I like Wave. Wave's actually a Pokemon that took a while to level up, and I think I sacrificed the rare candy on Wave, and I don't want to do that anymore. Sacrifice the candy on my Gyarados, and I think I sacrificed the candy on... No, I didn't sacrifice the candy on Fluffy, but uh, I sacrificed candies on Magneton and Gyarados, which, yeah, I don't want to lose those two after sacrificing some candies on them. So bye-bye, Pidgeotto, you're gone. I did get sand attack, though, I believe. So that's gonna suck a little bit. Well, actually, I can just go into Gyarados, technically, because Gyarados knows Thunderbolt. Wouldn't Gyarados? Yeah, Gyarados would be better for this situation, because Gyarados knows that the T-Boat. No stab, though, sadly. It also knows Ice Beam, so Ice Beam would just do as much damage. Well, th wait, Thunderbolt's 90 power, right? Or Ice Beam is 90 power? I'm kind of curious now to check it. Here comes Pharaoh. Now, Pharaoh would have been our flyer. I like Pharaoh. Uh, I actually used the Pharaoh back in my old Fire Red and Leaf Green playthrough. A long time ago, it wasn't a YouTube recording. That was back before I even started, before I even knew about YouTube or any of that stuff. 
Like, I used to play Pokemon all the time as a kid, and uh, I remember using the Spearow. Like, everybody would always choose a Pidgey, and, and I was just that one kid who... who a PP up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We found our PP up. Okay, so that was a... Actually, do you have an item right here? I feel like... I feel like you would have an item right here. No? Okay. Like, I feel like you would just have, like, an item right there. Okay, so... So it looks like I have to battle one trainer right here. This sucks. Oh, I don't have to battle him. Okay, good. So he doesn't try. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're doing this. So I didn't have to battle anyone. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Can we keep going? Can we keep going like. Oh. Yeah, let's just go like around you guys. Oh. Oh, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna be able to get there without having to fight anyone. Oh, yes. I don't even know why I did that, but let's keep going. Now, this is... Is this a new route? And I, I, hold on, I need to check the map pretty quickly. This is Route 15. That's the power plan. All right. Let's check this. Route 15. Route 11, Route 12, Route 13. So, technically, I could have caught a Pokemon in this route and this route. So, yeah, this is a new route, so I can capture something if we encounter something here, so... Let's cross our fingers, boys, and hope for... Okay, so no encounters. Oh, well, I kind of want an encounter, to be honest. Let's see what we get. Give me something good, something I like, something I want, something that's not weed. I already had I already had a weed Pokemon, sadly. A weed Pokemon did not make it through. Well, how did our weed Pokemon die? I think it died to, like, a flyer thing. Or, it was a flyer. That, that or it was a crit. Probably a crit. Weed, get out of here. We don't love you here anymore. Weed, you don't love me, I don't love you. It's a simple, simple formula, Weed. You gotta understand this. We gotta find something that's not dupe clossed. And we already found a bell sprout. I guess everything here is dupe clossed already. That's the thing about Pokemon Yellow. That's the one problem with Pokemon Yellow. There's not enough Pokemon for dupe clossed not to reactivate so often. Like, it all activates too often. That's one problem I can see with doing a normal Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. Now, had it been a Pokemon Randomizer, that might have been a little bit differently. Which, uh, maybe we'll do that sometime again in the future before Sun and Moon come out. I'm actually thinking about doing something like that for the summer, maybe? Possibly. Venonad! We don't have a Venonad, and I don't think I have a Venonad. No, I don't. I do not have a Venonad. We can catch that. Alright. Get, get gusted in the face, Venonad! Yeah, booyah! Oh god, I got disabled. No. My sand attack! My most precious move! Quick attack! Power boost! Disable! Oh god. Alright, so, yeah, we can catch a Venonat. Oh, that'd be kinda, that's kinda cool to add, actually. I'm thinking of, oh, maybe I should replace Dickler with it. Confusion, don't you dare. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Alright, go. Cool. Okay, let's throw a Pokeball at you. There we go. We get something for the episode. So, I think we can actually make it through this episode without having to do any more battles. And I got myself a Venonat! Yeah, now that's what I want to my Pokedex. The insect Pokemon in large eyes acts as radars in a bright place. You can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. So, um, we're gonna call you... Uh, let's see. We're just gonna call you Pure Horror. Because you... Your Pokedex entry, that is some scary stuff in there. Like, a million eyeballs? Or a tiny... A bunch of tiny little eyes? Horror. Your horror from the deep. Horror from the deep! A uh, quest in an old MMO I used to play a lot of. All right, Oddish, get out of here. Get out of here, my Oddish. I don't like you. I don't love you anymore. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're almost out of here. But we're getting a lot of random encounters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see something I really like, aren't I? No, it's just going to be a bunch of weeds. It's a bunch of weeds. A bunch of Oddishes. Wasn't there a... I think it was Pikachu's... The Pikachu's game where you could pull Oddish from, like, under the table or something. Like, under the ground, off the ground. And you can actually, like, mess with the Olishes. I think that's what it was. The Pikachu's game. Alright, so here we go. We are currently inside of Fusion City. So we're inside of Fusion City. So guys, we are going to end the episode here. I know, I know the, this is another short episode. But next episode, there's going to be a ton of grinding. There's going to be so much grinding. I may actually fall ill to the amount of grinding that we're going to have. But guys, make sure to leave a comment for the question of the day. Make sure to give this video a like if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. I hope you guys subscribe. We are going to be doing this. We're going to finish this Nuzlocke. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. And if it's not amazing, I will end this.